Hello and welcome to Manifest with Paycheck to Profit, a podcast that answers all of your questions with regards to money, manifestation and wealth. In this episode, I'm going to tell you a basic concept of what exactly is law of attraction, how can you improve your overall manifestation process, get more clarity on the concept of manifestation and give you an overall introduction of what to expect from this podcast in the future episodes. Hi, I'm Manish Aoja, founder of Paycheck to Profit, a money mindset and financial literacy coach who's building a community of like-minded people who are wanting to change their relationship with money, eliminate their money blocks, learn how to manifest better and make sense of law of attraction. I am very happy to talk to you about the whole process of what exactly is law of attraction. So let's get started. So what exactly is law of attraction? In simple words, law of attraction is a philosophy that believes in the fact that humans are very powerful and we are capable of solving all of our problems through a simple mechanism of positive thoughts, positive words and positive actions. The idea is if you think in the right direction, if your vocabulary and thought process and the way you talk is absolutely positive and if your positive thoughts and vocabulary lead to positive actions, there are very few chances of you not manifesting, not making true of all the desires that you can think of. So if you want to increase your monthly income or if you just want to expand your business or if you want to get a better salary, a better career, this is the right episode for you. Let's get started with the whole concept of thoughts. How do you improve your thought process? How do you improve your mindset? How do you actually start thinking more positively? Well, the answer to that is in understanding of a concept called the subconscious mind. It's We are going to talk about the concept of subconscious mind very deeply in our future episodes, but let me give you a simple perspective. Whatever you can think of, whatever you can speak, whatever you can imagine in your head is raw material that is going and getting fed into your subconscious mind and whatever you tell your subconscious mind is considered to be true to your subconscious mind. Let me not make it more confusing and rather give me give you a simple example. Let's say if you truly believe that you are capable of earning a million dollars a year and let's say if I say I am earning a million dollars a year that's some sort of a raw material to my subconscious mind because the confidence and the con- the conviction with which I say this, the conviction with which I believe in the statement that yes, I am capable of earning at least a million dollars a year is a fact that my subconscious mind is now going to help me convert these positive thoughts and positive words into positive action, which is going to make me achieve this goal, fulfill this desire of earning a million dollars a year. So the idea is you can clear your thoughts by having a very clear subconscious mind or having very clear and positive messages being told to your subconscious mind. But just having the clear thought process is not enough. You also need to have an absolute system of how do you manifest whatever you desire. Well, there is no documented system what of how law of attraction works, but with my research, with my uh, practice and with my understanding of law of attraction over the past three to four years, I have created a 10 step process, which I talk to my community about and where I teach each and every step to my community on how they can manifest better. I'm also, be, I'm also going to be sharing those perspectives over the future episodes, but considering you're giving me your time and your effort and your energy today, I am extremely grateful to you. And I'm going to give you a bird's eye view on this entire process today in this episode. So the first absolute thing, once you have a positive thought process and a positive uh, subconscious mind is having absolute clarity of your desires. Now, when I say this, imagine this, you need to know what does the finishing line of your desire look like. If you are looking at a financial uh, goal, what exactly is your financial goal? $1 million, $10 million, $100 million. You should know what does your finishing line look like, but It's not just important to have a finishing line that you want, but you should also believe that you are capable of achieving that finishing line. You should believe that you are absolutely capable of doing everything it takes, putting in all the possible work that it will take for you to achieve that 100 million goal. If let's say your goal is a hundred million dollars, but let's look at the fact of a simple common goal, which most people have in one way or the other, which is a million dollars in a lifetime, just for the sake of this episode. The moment you decide your finishing line to be a million dollars, you now need to break it down to tangible goals, goals which are absolutely manageable, goals which you can see yourself 
achieving over the next three, six, nine, twelve months. So let's say if you're looking at a million dollars, how about you start by earning five thousand dollars a month? Now that's a goal that you can achieve. If five thousand dollars a month is also extremely overwhelming for you, break it down to two thousand dollars per month, one thousand dollars per month. Once you have a manageable, tangible goal, you're now going to be able to look at yourself achieving that goal. When you see yourself achieving that goal, you're not just supposed to visualize or imagine yourself achieving that goal. You're supposed to imagine how exactly are you going to achieve that goal of earning five thousand dollars per month. What kind of clients will you have? What kind of services will you provide? What kind of a job are you in? And when you actually get that paycheck of five thousand dollars in your bank account, how will that make you feel? How will that impact your overall life? How will your loved ones around you feel when you tell them that you are earning five thousand dollars per month? How will your parents react? How will your spouse react? How will your children react? How will your lifestyle change? How will your mindset change? How will your level of happiness change when you achieve when you unlock that sort of materialistic wealth for yourself? What kind of things you will do? How will you improve your contribution? How will you improve the kind of quality of people that you? Uh, connect with how will you invest in better masterminds are the kind of questions that i want you to talk to yourself and get more clarity on the more clarity you have on your goals the more clarity have you have on your achievements or once you've achieved those goals the more clarity you have on how exactly will your life change and how will every positive change impact your family impact your loved ones is going to become fodder of emotional energy and vibrations which is the most important currency that you will have to bring to the table when it comes to law of attraction your positive thoughts give you the right direction your positive uh, visualizations and your absolute clarity of desires gives you an engine to drive in the right direction and the right energy which is the most important the right energy and the right vibration is the fuel that actually keeps you going to achieve these goals once you have the right thoughts and once you have the right mindset and once you've started visualizing these goals the next and the most important thing that you need to focus on is your actions law of attraction is directly connected to actions your manifestations are a direct by product of the amount of action that you put in the amount of efforts that you put in no effort is equals to no manifestations for you to manifest all of your desires you will have to focus on putting in the right amount of work putting in the right amount of effort upskilling yourself working on your mindset working on your resistances resistances are a very big challenge that you'll have to overcome on your journey to achieve your desires let me give you some perspective what will happen let's say if you now want to achieve your 5000 dollar per month goal for you to achieve that you may have to get new clients for you to get new clients you will have to pitch to more people you will have to upskill yourself and get more services you will have to work better with your team you will have to work better on your uh, appraisals these are some things that make people extremely uncomfortable if you are already imagining some roadblock on your journey to 5000 dollars that roadblock is your resistance in the concept of financial mindset these uh resistances are called money blocks i talk about money blocks in my programs but for now let me just tell you you will have to learn how to overcome these money blocks these resistances and that can only happen when you focus on the right amount of effort that you need to put in what do you need to do to actually overcome your challenge what do you need to do who do you need to talk to how what do you need to learn who do you need to connect with who do you need to reach out to to actually clear these resistances what do you, what mind work do you need to do what self work do you need to do what kind of self growth do you need to focus on to achieve those goals to break those resistances to take yourself to the next step these are the kind of things that we are going to talk about in a lot more depth in the future episodes but for now i have given you a birds eye view of how do you get the right thoughts how do you get the right words and the right vocabulary and how do you start focusing on the right actions to start manifesting everything that your heart desires if you found some sort of a value in this episode make sure that you subscribe to this uh, podcast because we are going to come up with new episode every monday morning 6 am ist in the next episode i'm going to talk to you about 10 to 12 rules which are absolute thumb rules basic fundamentals that you need to know even before you start your manifestation journey what kind of 
thought process do you need? What kind of belief system do you need to install in your thought process even before you start manifesting? If that's something that you would like to know more about and it's going to be a very powerful episode, I really insist that you subscribe to this podcast. If you have found a lot of value in this podcast. We also have a YouTube channel and I also keep sending a lot of newsletters. I create a lot of social media content, which I inform to my uh, Profit Clan community. To connect with us on Profit Clan, please go to the link that you'll see in the description below or just type paycheck to profit.com slash Profit Clan on your, on your browser and sign up for the Profit Clan newsletter. Let me repeat that. P-A-Y-C-H-E-C-K-T-O-P-R-O-F-I-T dot com slash P-R-O-F-I-T-C-L-A-N. I really wish you all the best for the upcoming week. May you get more clarity on the goals that you need to fulfill. May you get more clarity on your desires. May you focus, be more mindful on the kind of vocabulary that you're using, the kind of words that you're using. And may you start manifesting things with all of your might. If you have any questions with regards to law of attraction, manifestation or any other questions that you think are stopping you to increase your money mindset, please make sure to connect with me on any social media platform and ask me your questions. I will try my best to answer all your questions through multiple forms of content. For now, that's all what I have to share with you. If you've liked this episode and if you would like us to grow, considering we are an absolutely new podcast, I have a very small request for you. Take a screenshot of this podcast if you're watching it on the video format or if you're listening to it on the on your podcast application please take a screenshot and share this on your social media stories instagram stories work best or you can also connect with uh, you can also share this on twitter or on uh, linkedin do not forget to tag me and mr emojical and pay to pro on most social media platforms tag me so that i can help you give you gratitude by sharing your story and telling the world that We are creating a community where people are supporting us. So that would really, really, really help us reach out to more people and for more people to discover the kind of content that I'm creating here for you. And if you'd really want to support us, please consider giving us five stars on the app where you're listening to this podcast right now. That's about it from me. In today's episode, it's time to call it a wrap. But I can't wait to connect with you in the next episode of Manifest with Paycheck to Profit. Thank you so much for giving me your time. Take care. Keep going, keep growing.